Welcome to Sunday Worship and Talk with Art and Johnny. It is Sunday, September 16th, 2018. This is HamiltonRadio.net in lovely Robbinsville, New Jersey. I'm Art Silvano with my good buddy and pal. And John Acunso. John, how are you? I'm exhausted, but I'm doing good by his grace. Yeah, exactly. I heard you've been busy. You're doing weddings and funerals, funerals and everything. Yeah, right? it's crazy. It's been a crazy weekend. Got one more tomorrow. Hopefully no one close to you. Well, it's never a good thing. It doesn't matter whether no, they're close but, to you or not. Yv- but. Yvonne, as we dedicated my program last week to her, was just a great person who volunteered at that coffee at my coffee house every month. And uh, it's a shame that, uh, for those of you who don't know, she got struck by a car while waiting for a bus uh, yeah. going to work. Uh, she had a part-time job at Target and was waiting for a bus uh, and got struck by a car on Academy Road and killed. And like you said, she was a big help, a big help with your coffee house yeah, there. Yeah, anything out I needed, she would be there. Over at St. David's. And her husband did all my electrical work, wiring my snake wires into the ceiling. He That's does sad. all my electrical alert work, and uh, he's also the commander of my American Legion post. All right, well, why don't we uh, pray us in with special intentions for her family, sure. especially her husband. Good. Okay, let's pray. Father God, we, we thank you that we could come together with thanksgiving in our hearts and give you praise that we could just make a joyful noise like you told us and hopefully through this um, some lives will be touched someone will get saved even if it's just one person that was worth all of our effort i want to pray a special prayer for the Kant's family for um, for jim and for matt and uh, all the family members that were at the funeral yesterday and the viewing and the military burial and the whole thing, Father. We just pray that now that it's, we know that Yvonne is with you. We know that she didn't suffer, that her her passing was nearly instantaneous upon impact. And so we just pray that you would just give them all comfort, knowing that when our work here is done and all the, and, your, and our time to go is, is, is right there, we're all going to be together. So I I know I was able to communicate that with Jim and the family, and I just pray that you just give them your comfort and your peace. Bless everyone listening. If anybody is having a grief issue.
Um, only college football is what I watch in Penn State, my alma mater. So, but anyway, uh, <laughs> Joe says, uh, yeah, he says, my wife is our breadwinner in the house. And she, you know, she's a doc, she has a doctorate in psychology. And uh, I basically, on her shirt tails, you know, I over there, I follow her. And she takes me to Italy one day and we, we rented a hotel room and we walk up to the hotel in Italy and the guy asked me my name and I said, Joe Cal Calabrese. He says, no, 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 no. Calabrese, <laughs> right? Because who knew all these years I was pronouncing my name wrong? Wow. He says, if I knew that in high school, you know how many girls I could have had? Wow. <laughs> so. uh, Art, I think you've been pronouncing your name. It's South Philly, it's got to be Salvan Yo. It is Salvan Yo. Salvan Yo. Salvan Yo. With the Yo. Exactly. Yo. Exactly. <laughs> and actually, Hannah's really, oh, Hannah is really a Philadelphian. Right. right? Yeah. I'm yeah. from South Philly too. She just lost yeah. her, her accent, but she's a Philadelphia. It man. comes out sometimes. <laughs> I bet you when you get really angry at the kitties, <laughs> yes. yo, yeah. get over here. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway. exactly. I mean, I, my, one of my and I found out you were from Philly before before today. And one of my questions for Hannah was because I was reading in your bio that you, your formal training came from various <laughs> Philadelphia area music schools, and I'm saying, well, you're from Jersey. I mean, just like that old commercial from Temple University. I could have gone anywhere, but I went to Temple. You know, so, what, you know, it, that's pretty much generic. Name one of the, your, your favorite Philadelphia schools you went to. One uh, of your favorite. Like, one of your favorite. Not your favorite, but one of your favorite. <laughs> yes. One of, uh, well, I guess I started training when I was really little, and I did a bunch of different things. That like, my kids put ago. me in uh, Temple University Children's Choir, but I did Lyric Opera Theater Company of Philadelphia also. Which was really, which was really awesome. She was um, Margaret Castle, I believe. Was yeah, she was my my vocal teacher. But I she she taught me um, classical and opera, so that's what I I did a lot of that. And then we did a little music theater, and and things like that. So and I did a couple of um, summer things at University of the Arts. But um, yeah, I really just enjoyed it. So my Two parents put me in a bunch of different things for um, for me to grow. With what I, you know, and then how you really met enjoyed. Tim too. He told me the story, and I can't remember. I know it was in Philly that he he, he kind of. No, I met him. Um, one of my friends that I worked with, her boyfriend worked at the same auto mechanic shop. Ah, uh, that's husband. how. So that's how I met him. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're not getting to any yeah. personal things here. <laughs> no, Tim, Tim's cool. I know. Man. Yeah, I know. You got to meet Tim. He's really cool. Absolutely. And then down the road, I mean, basically your style of music went. According to this, you went from opera to jazz to classical to yeah. choral. Yeah, I did. I've worship. done all sorts of, so I explored all of them. Just, just, you know, it's always good to try all the different types of genres. Just, you know, it's good to expand it and everything like things like jazz taught me how to improv more, how to, you know, it's not so structured, whereas classical was extremely structured. Mm -hmm. So it's good to, I had all those different types of um, disciplines and it, and it really helped grow me a lot as a as a vocalist just having different types of training so what's your favorite out of all that of your jazz classical what's your favorite of things that i was trained in yes what's your favorite uh i guess um i like classical classical is really it's it's my dad enjoys that the most i guess i think that's what makes him the most proud do you um, still dabble in that any or mm, no no i um mostly just call me found and and you know church and you know things even like off that. to the side away from that at, at home, home. That's yeah at home sure i'll Good. sing at home yeah my kids <laughs> they hear me singing all the time that awesome and then down yeah. the road you met this gentleman over here jeff yes. bishop Yes. And, you know, Jeff is uh, here. He's a well-known artist. He's, he's, he's staged with the acts of uh, Ace. How do you pronounce it? Fraley? Ace Fraley. Fraley. Yeah. He yep. worked with Kiss, right? He was the guitar player, guitar player for, for Kiss. Kiss. Fraley's Ed, Comet. You also worked with Eddie Money, right? Yeah. We're well, the, yeah, so we were, we were the opening act for some of these shows. Okay. Um, uh, Weird Al, yep, was another one. Nice. Uh, basically... Big artists that were kind of starting to, you know, at the tail the end of rollers, their career. The roller yeah. coaster down. Or new artists that were up and coming with their first video on MTV, that mm -hmm. type of thing. We did a, a ton of shows like that, with both of those categories. So how did you and Hani get together? How did you guys meet? So we met on the worship team at our church when we were going to the same church. Um, I recently moved into the area, um, felt 
kind of called to get involved with the worship team at church. Uh, it was the gospel team. That, at the time, they had a few different uh, styles led by different worship leaders. Um, so we were both on the gospel team, believe it or not. Um, and you know, I would play an acoustic guitar and mm -hmm. kind of sit back in the corner. And half the time, the mic, you know, my, my guitar wouldn't even be turned on. <laughs> but at any rate, that's where we met. I think um, it was, we, I wanted to do um, a special music song. Yes. And I think that's what really, mm -hmm. he was just like, I think, you know, that you were like, I think you have the voice of something that I'm looking for. Would you want to do something? And then we started working on the project. You can. Continue. Yeah. So uh, I was uh, enlisted to do the special that Hannah just mentioned. Okay. And I was, wow, she's really great. I got to. I got to ask her if she would be interested in singing on this other album that I'm in the middle of recording, um, which was a buddy of mine, Rob Riley. Uh, he's a singer-songwriter from uh, England, grew up in the UK, came over here. Um, he and I crossed paths a bit. That's where Bishop Riley came That's from. where Bishop Riley came okay. from. Yeah, I, gotcha. I have something for you guys today, okay. by the way, but don't let me forget. Okay. Um, so, so anyway, uh, I was recording an album with my buddy Rob Riley after kind of taking a break from music for many years, and uh, that the model has changed so dramatically that, you know, he's up in Maine, I'm down here in Jersey. Um, we can write and record this thing, mm -hmm. get together to record his parts, and then I can take it back and, and arrange everything, build up everything, and release it, uh, which is what we did. So I enlisted Hannah to sing back up on that, and it went so well. She did such an awesome job that, you know, we started talking about doing an album with Hannah as, you know, the main lead singer. Um, my thought was that it was going to be the Hannah Devlin band, but she said, eh, I don't know if that's really what I want to do. I, I saw that because that's how I first, when I met you guys, that's what it was. And then it was just changed right after I contacted you. Yeah, well, we had we were asked to do a coffee house, and we didn't have a name. And she's like, "So, what are you guys called? What should I? What should I? I'm like, I don't know. And she was like, uh, "Why don't we just say that?" And I was like, "Yeah, sure, whatever." Like it was one of those things we hadn't really figured it out yet. Sure, absolutely. And she was just like, "Well, we got to call you something." So when did Call Me Found come about? How how soon after Hannah Devlin how, Band? It wasn't that long. I was at Outcry, and I was listening to Jesus Culture, mm -hmm. and um, that song. Um, Fierce came on, and one of the lyrics to that is, how could I be lost when you have called me found? Oh, yeah. And that's what, like, I was thinking about it. Like, I was like, yeah, you know what? It's right. We're we're found. We're not, like, lost anymore when you're a follower of Jesus. And I was like, that's, like, so it kind of, it called to me. And, it, and I, I was like, Jeff, what do you think about that? And he and he liked it, and we went for it, and that's kind of how that. That's funny. We sang yeah. that song today in church. Yeah, yeah I, I love that song. almost lost my voice. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard to come up with a band name. It I is. mean, I, I must have me suggested it. a half a million <laughs> Wait, what's really my bad <laughs> really Patio bad Furniture names. and the Lawn Chair Band. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. <laughs> patio, patio Furniture and the Chase Lounge Band. I love it. I, I love like it. that, actually. I like it. We could, like we could it. make a lot of money on <laughs> St. Patty's Day <laughs> with that yeah, one, doing, yeah. the, doing the clubs and the bars. And it's a very, very uh, specific line of merch that I goes like with that. that. <laughs> I like that, yeah. A lot of shamrocks involved. Uh, they were all, all of his suggestions were like that. <laughs> well, they were goofy. I no, was no, just, it it was know. just joking. No, I'm just kidding. He came up with some Almost as goofy as ours because when John and Rich says, hey, we go out as a trio, you know, for, as far as Hamilton Radio goes, when, instead of me going solo sometimes. And w I said, well, what are we going to call it? So I said, our Silvano and John and Rich do sold out here every second and fourth Sunday. Right. So I said, why don't we have it? Art Silvano and the sold out boys with his With Z. a Z. So that's what we do. Sold out boys. The so sold out sold boys. Out. So everyone wants us now, the sold out boys. <laughs> sold out boys. So, but uh, anyway, back to call we found. Um, uh, we your, digress. Was your, uh, yeah, we digress. Your first CD, what I say, am I correct in saying, was Beauty for Ashes? That is correct. Yep. Yep. That's right. And you guys played some from that uh, CD during this past year's uh, battle of the Christian bands. And you we guys uh, blew... The arena away <laughs> oh, yeah. I, uh, by I coming in happen. first place. John knew that from the beginning. I mean, the fi I there was know. no fix. <laughs> Definitely there was no fix. I know him from the, from the get-go. Like, yeah, just John. like I know who's going to take it in 2019. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm uncomfortable doing that kind of like battle of bands. I, I have always avoided those types yeah. of things, but it's such a great cause. I mean, there was no 
there was no way we weren't going to be involved in it. Yeah. Um, but I was. Well, we appreciated it. We had know, a lot of fun. I feel we, uncomfortable making a, a contest out of you know what we do. It's well, not that's, why we're doing it. You know right. I mean? Well, that's why we don't call it a contest, and we just call it a high score. And yeah. And uh, and you know. And everyone gets a trophy. I mean, and and just to show you that there's other bands that that don't take it that way either. That we have Blue Sky Falls, and they don't care whether they win or lose. They've been they've been with us for the last four years. <laughs> Those guys, were, and he's coming. He's coming again in 2019. Yeah, yeah. And, I, and last year was great. He said, "Oh, thank you for putting us forth so we could see uh, all the bands we're going to lose to today." <laughs> uh, and it was great. He was so Brad is so cool. He he said, "I'll do it all the time. You could have me every year. So I'll, I'll yeah. come." We're actually uh, going to be probably most likely, I would say, a good 99 percent chance. We're actually moving moving it this year yeah. or next year February to Ben Salem United Methodist Church okay. larger venue a they closer found for you guys. we didn't ask they asked us ah, nice. which was really nice and reason why they asked us is a good friend of mine who I used to play with um, guitar not play with as a kid <laughs> um, Mike Pugh he uh, is one of the vocalists for the Philly Pops oh, wow. as well as Kate I forget Kate's last name forgive me uh, but they're both um, worship leaders at that church, and I'll be actually joining them as one of their vocalists and guitar players and bass players uh, every second and fourth uh, Sunday of the month uh, at 1045. That's when we when we start uh, at Ben Salem United Methodist Church. So I'm honored uh, that they asked me to, and so I'm, I'm awesome. And that's where we're going to be having our battle for next year. Nice. Which is be it's gonna be a fun time, uh, and uh, there's a lot of other places that ask too. But right now, uh, Ben Salem United Methodist Church is just the way to go, and I like to thank Crossroads while we're on the air uh, for their past support, and uh, I'll be contacting them. <laughs> I haven't contacted them yet, but uh, to let them know that uh, that they were really helpful over the last three years, very generous in what they've done. Uh, with Battle for Children Charities, very supportive, and I'd like to thank our past pastor who actually got that venue for us, Heidi, um, and Heidi is now a pastor at a Presbyterian church in Northeast Philadelphia, and we're still in good contact with each other, as well as my own church, uh, it's not my church, it's the Lord's church, and it's Deb's church, and it's our congregation church, I'd like to just give a shout out there at the Faith Harvest Church out there in Levittown, Pennsylvania. So uh, looking forward to it. Uh, my first time with them is going to be, I believe, October 14th, that Sunday. Uh, so if anyone's out there in the Northeast Philadelphia area, Ben Salem area, surrounding area, come out and say, I'll say hello to you, say hello to us, join the congregation. We'll have a great time. But anyway, digress back to Call Me Found. So beauty, how did Beauty for Ashes come about? So... Um... I mentioned the album I was doing with my buddy Rob Riley, and Hannah, we enlisted Hanna to sing on that. Mm -hmm. And then, so uh, we started to we started to write some material um, and record, kind of you know one by one the songs. Uh, one of the songs on the album is called "Beauty for Ashes." Um, I don't know if I should. We're going to be playing this in a little bit later. Maybe That's I should fine. reserve some of the story. But uh, okay. we just I, I thought it, it you know. Um, I thought it was a cool title for the album, and it kind of reflected a lot of uh, what we were, wanted to to go for in terms of you know the uh, tone of the album, the overall tone, and and so that's that's where it came from. I don't know anything you want to you want to add. Well, um, it came from the the verse in the Bible, and I think that was kind of I think a lot of the bases for our songs are come from Bible verses. Mm -hmm. And then we kind of play off of that, um, just to give us a, you know, an idea, you know, uh, behind it. Just, you know, I think it's good to use that for an inspiration. Absolutely, I understand. I do a lot of that myself with my music. So, what are what are our listeners going to hear now? Uh, we're gonna play "Carry Me," and that one. Awesome um, song. Yeah, I love that song. <laughs> That's too. my favorite song. <laughs> um, you know, this one. I remember when we were when we were talking about it and we were writing like, um, you know, sometimes things in your life. Sometimes when I talk when we sing the song, I am tongue tied at the moment. But um, Me too. you know, you talk about how uh, <laughs> I am. in your life sometimes you just fall off course and 
no matter how much you feel like you're drowning out in the ocean, you know, if you pray to God, he will lift you back up and he'll pull you up out from under Amen. the depths. And, you know, and that's what this song's about is just like remembering that and just calling on him when you need that. Cause we all go through you know, moments and, and, and periods in your life where you're going to slip away and you feel like that. And you just have to remember that God's going to be there to lift you back up again. And that's, that's basically what this song was about. And, um, I thought it was, you know, it's just, you know, that's kind of what that, that one reminds me of. And just to interject, Lance Carpenter says, Hi, love Hannah, love Jeff, super talented. <laughs> Thanks. Hey, Lance, thank you. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, here we are. Call Me Found here live on Sunday Worship and Talk with Art and John, HamiltonRadio.net. <laughs> found live here on Sunday Worship and Talk with Art and John. This is HamiltonRadio.net. I'd like to remind you, Anchor Me Ministries with Lance Carpenter. Great friend of mine, great friend of ours here on Hamilton Radio. Come and listen on October 7th. Lance will be my co-host here live on the air on Sunday Worship and Talk while John is uh, 
working outside of the uh, got a wedding. The He's got a wedding to do. One He's of my not, groomsmen's getting married. One, yeah, one of your grooms, not you. You're already married. No, I'm already married. Yeah, good. You know, you don't want to have. You know, you're, you're not a Mormon. My wife's gonna be there too. Good, oh. but she's already married to you. Yeah, poor girl. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. But anyway, Lance will be sitting in your place. We love you, John. Oh, yeah. <laughs> God chasteneth those he loveth. That's right. Lance will be sitting in your spot on October 7th, and Jessica Crawford will be in the house. So uh, tune in on October 7th. Thank you, Lance, for uh, accepting to sit in. We're so happy to have you here. And uh, I'm sure Jess's, Jessica will be definitely glad to see you here as well. And I'll be seeing you on October uh, I'm sorry, September 29th. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so we'll be back with Call Me Found and some more music from them after these next three songs that you have in the box, John. Okay, well, last week, of course, we talked about, um, we had a brand new song by an uh, artist named Yvette Medina called oh, We'll Always Remember 9-11, and it was to commemorate 9-11. But, you know, it's still in in our minds and our hearts this week, especially with all the devastation that's going on in North Carolina. So I thought it would be appropriate to also play one of the songs we played last week, There Is Hope by Dave Pettigrew. We're going to start off our show with that. Awesome. And hope that people, especially if they could hear us in that area that's being ravaged by the storm, know that there is a light at the end of that tunnel. And secondly, uh, then we'll have our my good buddy, uh, husband and wife team, uh, Pamela and Trevor Chambers, otherwise known as Brick Snow Straw, with a, a very upbeat tone to bring us back upbeat and smiling and dancing called Get There, because that's all we want to do. As I said in the song, all we want to do is get there. Every and, day I say that. Yeah, I just want to get there. Just want to get there. To heaven and to be with our Lord. And finally, we'll finish it up with Offering by my good buddy Ken Perry and the Ken Perry Band, because we're to make ourselves as a living offering to God once once we receive him as our Savior and it just gets better and better. You don't give up anything. You gain so much. So there we go. Uh, there is Hope by Mr. Dave Pettigrew to commemorate, originally written to commemorate the 10th anniversary of 9-11. Get There by Bricks No Straw and Offering by Ken Perry here on Sunday. Worship and Talk with Art and John, Hamilton Radio, HR2.
myself, I will give myself. Welcome back to Sunday Worship and Talk with Art and John. You're on HamiltonRadio.net in Robbinsville, New Jersey. I'm Art Silvano with my good buddy and pal. John Acunzo. And we have a great show today. Earlier, if you're just tuning in, Mark Lee was here uh, on the phone talking about his upcoming tour. Don't forget to uh, look to his new uh, book out there that came out. Earlier this, actually earlier last month, right. Hurt Road. Um, you can go on to Ravel Publishing and get yours there. I believe he's also on Amazon.com. We didn't mention that while oh, he yeah. was you on. Oh, yeah, get anything on Amazon. Pretty much anything on Amazon, you're right. So, uh, but he'll be around in New Jersey on November 29th, along with Dave Pettigrew, as well as Jessica Crawford. Thanks to Lance Carpenter and Anchor Me productions and ministry who's actually listening in as we speak right now they can actually find show dates and times for new jersey on anchor me promotions page on facebook just uh, go to facebook and look up anchor me promotions and you'll get plenty of information on all the events and concerts there in lovely New Jersey. Speaking of New Jersey, we're in Robbinsville, New Jersey. Yes, I we just are. love it here, don't you, John? Oh yeah. I mean you love it here so much. You're here you were here just before me for the other show. I'm here every week in this place. So. I know. <laughs> Sweater. I must I created a monster. Yeah, I know. I sure did. Yeah, but I, I'm excited because we Ruben was telling me some news that we might be moving sooner than later and might be moving somewhere else. So I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I heard. I if it's okay for me to state, Ruben. I think we're moving uh, somewhere not too far from here, right? Yeah, that's not, yep. Okay. There you go. Well, we're actually be near friendlies. Right, which is good because the manager is a big supporter, but he's also, Radio. he's also a really nice guy. Yeah. Yeah, he really would. And then we won't have to worry about having a delivery charge when we need food brought over. Who worries about delivery? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, uh, before we get back to our guest, call me Founds in a House. We're so honored and really happy to have them here. September 22nd, there's going to be a free concert and festival. Just go to cccmillville.org forward slash summer sizzlers. They have live bands, popcorn, bounce game, prizes, and much more. It's called Summer Sizzler, even though summer is just about concluded. That's, that's right. Pretty, that's cool. I like that. Yep. Summer Sizzlers. Uh, so that's just cool. again, CC, it's four C's. CCCCMillville.org yep. forward slash Summer Sizzlers. Let's shout out to Diane Zako from Junction Music Studios, uh, who I was happy to see last night at her studio. 13 years That's in that business, her own business now. Right. She's been doing this for more oh, than that. Oh, sure she for has. For years yeah. since Boys the Men and others. Uh, but uh, 13 years with her own studio. That's awesome. We had a great barbecue going last night. We had a, we had a blast. My wife and I uh, had a visit with her for about an hour and a half. And uh, a lot of the bands that rehearsed there joined her um, that's awesome they actually gave a concert they had like four or five of the rehearsal bands that uh that rehearsed her that's uh, great gave a nice concert it was fun they had a, a band there that uh i think i want to say 
Oh, what did I say earlier, John? They were a tribute band for Heart. Oh, Heart. Yeah, you Heart. said they were particularly notable. Yeah. Very yeah. good. Really, did a real really, good job. really good. Really, really good. Yeah. Speaking of music, yes. how's Sold Out doing your coffee house? What's coming up? Well, we uh, we had to change the date because uh, Joe McGardle, uh, my uh, assistant director, um, he lost his dad not too long ago, and uh, they're having the first family reunion since the passing of his dad. Oh, wow. And like last year, they decided to have it, the uh, family wants to have it on the first Saturday of October. So I had a, had a choice. I had to cancel my anniversary again, which is the only fundraiser we do for sold out for the whole year, mm-hmm. or change the date, even though I'm stepping on the toes of another coffee house. So we decided to go to with the 13th. So we are on Saturday, October 13th. Doors open 6.30. We start at 7. We end at 9.30. And, of course, as with every anniversary show, the full Joe McArdle band will be the guest. Very good. So that we don't need to give them the offering since they're there. And they don't, also don't get to play. The only time I get to play is every single band canceled on me. And at the last minute, last second, I had nobody to fill in. And then they would come out of the kitchen because they help in the kitchen. And they would don their instruments and play. And they're awesome. They yeah, have quite Joe. a following from the restaurants. Yeah, Joe's a great guy. So the good thing is we got a packed house whenever Joe McArdle plays. Even though he doesn't do uh, a mixture, he's going to do secular and Christian. He's going to do a kind of a mixture that night because uh, he's also the worship leader for the church. He's got plenty of Christian stuff. He had an album out, too, an uh, original album called Tear It Down. Never heard a, of it. Yeah, because it didn't go very many places, but we get to hear those songs exclusively. Uh, in October, he, he'll do. Uh, I have, the song to, I have to get a copy. I'm sure it's still out there. He, he's got it somewhere, you know. But I'll, I'll get a copy. Yeah, so that's why I told him I'll give him airplay. But so he's worried that people would book him for gigs and all that oh. stuff, and he didn't have time. He, does, he doesn't have any time. Not time. Yeah, I know. So anyway, so that's what we're doing. Uh, the 13th. Now, what's going on with the show? Sold out. The sold out program. I um, let's see. Um, I'm trying to trying to think now. I I don't I, I see don't you to smoke. Well, I don't remember who who we have coming up. To be perfectly honest with you, unless and hopefully by the end of the show, Anna will email me or message me, and I'll get it. But I know that she said the good news is we are we are booked till like January, February. So okay. that means we have guests every every sold out program. So I'm really she, happy. Anna's doing a great job. So shout out. Anna does a great job. Anna Lovern and as I'm, in Govern. And and I'm glad to have Rich back in the saddle. You know, Rich of course lost his dad. Yes, he did. Like I said, God's graduating class is a big one this year. Yeah. He's got a big. That's why I look at it. you're graduating. We're not losing people. They're just graduating, and then they got to wait for us to get there, and we got to wait for our turn, and then we get to go be with them. And we're back to rehearsing next Thursday. Yeah. This Thursday, actually. So our next show is the 14th. Our next sold out program is the 14th of October. Yeah. And so uh, you're talking about uh, the sold out boys and our Salvano. Boys, yeah. Yeah. So Hopefully, I will be there. Okay. It'll Hopefully be fun. Be there, yeah. It'll be fun. Yeah, it's good uh, to have Rich back. Yeah, absolutely. So our show's coming up through December on October 7th. I mentioned earlier, Jessica Crawford's in the house on Sunday Worship and Talk. Again, on October 21st here on Sunday Worship and Talk, we have King Rich. November 4th, we have Think of Three. On November 18th, Serafina Music's going to be in the house, John. Who's going to be in Serafina. Really? Yeah. That's great. Yeah, November 18th. And the Golden Voices, an a cappella group from Philly, will be with us on December. Oh yeah, you got to see these guys. Anna sent me the videos, right? You saw the video. I saw the video. These great. guys are incredible. They are great a cappella group. The yeah. Golden Voices. We're also in the in the future. We have Heaven Bound Gospel Singers going to be actually in the house too. Another uh, a cappella group that does that no, stuff too. No relation to our girl. No relation to Liz Collins. Liz Collins. No. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's yeah. going to be exciting. So yeah, these are the upcoming good. shows. So tune in every uh, first and third Sunday here on HamiltonRadio.net. We try to start promptly at 4 o'clock, yeah, as like always. When, like when we try to start at 5.15, I don't think we've ever started at 5.15. <laughs> What's sold out, you mean? Since we got that sign yeah. slot. But we yeah, try exactly. because we have a great show with a bunch of wonderful young ladies that do fashion, fun, and philanthropy following our show. Yeah. And they're really nice. They always shout out to our show, so we want to make sure that we get off the air so they could do their show. I, I remember that the last the uh, the show that I did with you in place. Yeah, Rich, fashion, fun, and that, philanthropy. That that thing that's sitting across was sitting was standing yeah. right next to me, and I'm saying, do we have to have that's this? That's what that's there for. Because right. I kept on thinking, we do we have another co-host in the house? Yeah, we had yeah we had the mannequins <laughs> all over the place. <laughs> but funny. those young ladies do a nice job. That's funny. 
Yeah, absolutely. Anyway, we're glad to have Call Me Found in the House. Yes. Hannah Devlin's here along with Jeff Bishop, and they have a couple songs that they're going to sing for us and play. What do you got, Jeff? So we're going to do a song called Grace, which I believe, John, this is the song that you heard first and uh, reached out to us after after hearing us and then seeing us. Yeah, 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 I remember, yeah. Great. I love Grace, but it's definitely, you know, we all have difficult relationships, and I think this that's what this one's really about. It's about, you know, everyone has our tough relationships in our life, and, you know, always having to depend and lean on God to give you the right way to respond to people, because um, sometimes you, you know, you want to respond to people in different ways, and, you know, that's just not... That's not what God wants us to do. We that's have true. to show grace and love to everybody. Yeah. And, Amen to that. You know, and that's what this one's about, is a reminder, you know. <laughs> awesome. Call me found here live on HamiltonRadio.net. <laughs> Looks like the sun's gone in again. And I can tell that it's gonna rain Cause I can see the storm that's gathered on your face And if we're headed for a fight I don't care who's wrong or right There's fault enough to cover both of us in shame all by myself grace lord i'm gonna need grace lord because i can't do this without your help i feel a hardening on my heart it's hard to see beyond the pain Look for healing even as we drift apart And when the heavens open up Bring me peace and soothe my soul Wash away the hurt and fill me up with love Grace, Lord, I'm gonna need grace, Lord Cause I can't do this all by myself Let's grow before we grow too far apart Let's set the past aside And make a brand new start I know that only God can reconcile our hearts Maybe if I forgive at last Maybe if we re-inspect the past We can put aside all I can't do this all by myself Grace, Lord I'm gonna need grace, Lord Cause I can't do this without your help Oh, grace, Lord I'm gonna need grace, Lord Cause I can't do this all by myself Lord, I'm gonna need grace, Lord, cause I can't do this without your help. Grace, Lord, I'm gonna need grace, Lord, cause I can't do this all by myself. Grace, Lord, I'm gonna need grace. Cause I can't do this without your help. Woo! Call me found in the house.
formerly found here live on HamiltonRadio.net. We got a double shot.
Call Me Found live here on Sunday Worship and Talk with Art and John. You're listening to HamiltonRadio.net. You know, every year uh, we have what's called the Battle of the Christian Bands. Now, it's not an actual battle where they're fighting against each other. You know, no, we, we don't like to lose we, competition it, as a exactly, word. Exactly, exactly. It's actually a battle against child abuse. So I always put in brackets against, against child abuse and then followed by of Christian bands. Uh, and basically every year, this will be our eighth annual, John. Hard to believe. I, I know, hard to believe. It's unbelievable. Yep. Yeah. So uh, it basically brings awareness uh, of the Ames crime out there for child abuse, sexual abuse. As we know, it's always it's been in the news even more so now, especially uh, with the archdiocese all over Pennsylvania alone, not just Philadelphia. And now New Jersey's getting involved as well mm -hmm. uh they're they're taking their lead uh through what they've learned through pennsylvania and uh it's just going to spread like wildfire all throughout the united states it's sad to say unfortunately but it's it's not the only area it's not only in the archdiocese it, it's other areas as well it's not only through the different religions out there organizations and but uh it's in corporate america as well uh, as well as human trafficking, which we try to make people aware of. Absolutely. So that's what our battle does every year. Uh, it it brings awareness every February, the last Saturday in February. And in February, uh, we're going to have it at a different location. And it's going to be in Ben Salem, Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we'll be doing a walkthrough sometime within the next week or so. And take a look at the facility, which I've already done. So it's, it's a fabulous facility. Uh, sound systems up to par, which we need, which we need to have. And uh, the people that are just working with us are awesome. Right. So it's going to be free. Right. So we're not going to charge anything. And uh, those uh, that belong to that church are going to be making some great food for everyone. And all the bands and volunteers will have food throughout the day. Yeah, um, it won't be limited. Like it won't it be limited before. until 5 o'clock. Mm. Uh, so it'll be available through until 10 o'clock or 9 o'clock, whatever time the show's over. And uh, we're happy to welcome the bands that probably are in your head right now, John. Yeah, Go pretty ahead. much. Uh, we have um, coming back to us this year, uh, mainly because of the – I always try to bring bands back that I think that maybe didn't get – the proper score or they did a lot also because they, they gave us a lot of their equipment but we have the dave mcintosh band which is called narrow road yeah narrow road. so they'll be Great back band. they'll be back with us here and of course the the formerly known as the juan catorce band now known as blue sky falls juan catorce being their late first john was a 14 is catorce and in Spanish is 14, so this is a John 14. So this is John 14. But uh, my good buddy Brad, I know he gets a kick out of it when I still remember the original name for the band. Yeah. Uh, sound is pretty much the same, except they have a few more players. But they will be back. They're our poster child, as we call them. And the third band is the Full Gospel Boogie Band. Nice. Coming in from the York, Pennsylvania area. Uh, the ZZ Top of, of of independent Christian music. They do a lot of covers, but they but they won't be doing them that night. They have uh, some original stuff written in that same uh, ZZ Top type style. Do they have so, beards though? Yeah, it, it, yeah. Well, no, but they they, they I, I saw one show where they actually had the props <laughs> where they put the, uh, they the put, clip put on the beers clip on. on just for <laughs> fun. fun and and they did instead of sharp dressed man, they said every girl's crazy about a Bible preaching man. <laughs> and, and, and they did put on the, the, the beard and the, and the fedoras. But, uh, so they're going to be here. And our fourth band is one that was on our show, which blew us both away, Paging Samuel. Yeah, they, great job. Uh, yeah. And it, so great it got band. a fiddle in the band, and I always ah, love it. Cool. When they, and last but not least, uh, and like I said, I, I was at uh, Nate and um, uh, Nate's uh, new business called Note Spire Music Note Spire. Mm -hmm. and Paul Gibbs, and she hugged me and said, we're in. And as Nicole and the band um, Simple Tenets is our band number five. And nice. so it's going to be a really, really good band. Uh, it's going to be good, especially them. They don't have really a, a formidable CD out there. Yeah. So if they do win, I don't know whether they will or won't, but if they do, man, it's, it's going to be so helpful to them. Oh, absolutely. To get something out even, there finally. Even if it's a three-song EP. They would, they would love it. They, they have nothing. Hours, yeah. yeah, they have nothing. And they're incredible. That's got, a, I think, a fiddle, a violin, a, a, fiddle, a, violin, a mandolin, and a uke in that band. Yeah. 
Oh, wow. Di- so, Diane will work with them. Yeah, so it's great. Besides the keyboards and uh, and the uh, guitar work, it's yeah, awesome. Absolutely. absolutely. So you'll love them. It's got a really yes. good lineup this year. Very I got eclectic. some really cool artwork last year. I took home a few pieces. Yeah, he's it's, coming back as, that, as our artist. Hot Rod art. Yeah, Hot Rod art. Oh, my gosh. Rod, Rod Rakos. Yeah, I have two pieces. Of I, know, I know your Loved husband it. must freak out awesome. with this stuff. You know? he's, yeah. our, he's our resident uh, prophetic artist in our church. Yes. Yeah, cool. He does some great work. After after service is done, he has at least one or two pieces finished. Well, the, wow. yeah, I, was it him who handed me? I somebody painted a piece while we were performing, yeah, and he handed yeah. it to Probably me. I, I have one, yeah. a beautiful piece with pinstriping, and then he yeah. called me. He wrote, "Call me Thanos." See on that? Yeah, yeah, it was really neat. He was just like, I felt it while I, while you guys were performing, and he gave it to me. It was so cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah he'll yeah, be back. Really neat. He'll be back. And you guys are in exhibition this year, so you get to do a whole set. So you yeah. get to get. Uh, who knows what it'll give you? Who knows what it'll, it'll be inspired yeah. by when you do your exhibition this year? Yeah, it'll be awesome. great. So, John, October 14th, where are you going to be? October 14th, I will be at the Sold Out program right here on Hamilton Radio with the band Freddie Fish and the Loaves. Freddie Fish I and did, the Loaves. I got the message from Anna. Awesome. And there's my buddy, Ron Peralta. Uh, he's uh, from South Jersey, and uh, these guys are great. Monster guitar player Joe DeLisi on guitar. Unbelievable. Well, I will be in Ivyland, Pennsylvania at a axe-throwing event. Oh, really? Which will be a fundraiser for Battle for Children. <laughs> and I will be standing against the target, as the target, blindfolded with an apple on my head. So I thought you were doing no, that on Saturday head. because I know you had your heart <laughs> set on firing at me. So yeah, I thought I you I thought we were doing it on Saturday so I could be there. Unfortunately, October 14th is uh, when uh, our lovely president Keisha had uh, uh, was able to get a date for us. Oh boy. Yeah. So I was uh, hoping I'm disappointed. I really I know really because I was to be going there. to Yeah, I know you You were going to throw the axe at I was me. Gonna I, throw, know. I know you wanted you were looking I did. For I, I was going to blindfold myself I had that. the apple already for you. Wow. Unfortunately, but this time I'm going to be Yes, so you're going to be the target. I'm going to be the target this time. And Diane's yeah. going to go into dunk tank. <laughs> no, <just kidding>. no. <laughs> yeah, it's going, it's going to be a great event. Uh, we actually have the whole place to ourselves. Axe throwing, can you imagine? Yeah, so it's going to be a good fundraiser. And uh, Al Smith, yes, comedian, comedian extraordinaire. extraordinaire. Al Smith will be actually um, working alongside you during the Battle of the Christian Bands. Come oh, February, good. he'll be emceeing. Excellent. And cracking some great jokes. Yes, yes. Uh, he was so upset that he couldn't be with us last year. Yeah. Because uh, he forgot the date and already had uh, set aside a date for a gig that he was playing outside of Philadelphia. Right, right, right. So, But he's getting very well known out there. Yeah. Very right. well known. He's been all over. He's been in Maine. He's been... I can't... Down south. Wow. He's been all over. He, dude's just working and working and working. Mm. I'm so proud of him. You know, bless the Lord, you know. I mean, Amen. The Lord's just got him, you know. Yep. So that's awesome to say. So anyway, we have more with Call Me Found after these next three songs that you have in the box for us. Yes, I, I have three songs in the box, although Ruben has my pad. So he's going to have to real quickly hustle. Oh, he's it coming over. right over right now. Yep. So everyone say hello to Ruben. Hey, Ruben. Yay. Yay. Here we go. Yeah, there's the magic we'll pad. Relay the magic pad. So let's see what we got. It's a hard one to beat those first three and to beat Call Me Founds two in a row, which were excellent. But so we got to really liven it up with my good friend Terry and Diane McCabe in the song I'm Not Religious. Well, which is a great tune, and it's very tongue-in-cheek, and so we're going to have them. Uh, Then, of course, we're going to play our poster child, since we don't play too many songs in the box. We're going to play Good Times by Blue Sky Falls, because before you start complaining about how rotten day you're having, why don't you listen to the lyrics of the song that these might be the good times, and it doesn't get any better than this between now and when God comes back. So let's be thankful for today. And and, And while we're being thankful, we could rise up with Eddie Mann. Our, our third in our trilogy here. So here we go. I'm Not Religious by Terry, Terry and Diane McCabe. Good Times, Blue Sky Falls, and Rise Up by Mr. Eddie Mann on Sunday Worship and Talk with our John Hamilton Radio HR2. <laughs> I get bored I'm glad I'm not 
You better 
up early just to find myself late. I'm definitely maybe gonna hurry and wait. Even when the world appears to be on my side, somehow all the honesty will only be denied. I'm feeling a darker shade of blue. But with your help, I can see this through and rise up. For today is the day I'll rise up. And walk the narrow way I'll rise up And know what to say I'll rise up And make a difference today I went to bed so I could lie awake I'm the definition of the perfect mistake Even when I take the time of the perfect mistake Even when I take the time to try my best Somehow I always find a way to fill the test I'm feeling a darker shade of blue But with your help I can see this through and rise up For today is the day I'll rise up and walk the narrow way I'll rise up And know what to say I'll rise up And make a difference today Welcome back to Sunday Worship and Talk with Art and John. I'm getting some echo here. As you can tell, John isn't here because I, pl I practiced some of my magic work and I just puffed him out of the scene. But poof, he's going to be coming back shortly. Abracadabra, there he is. <laughs> so welcome back, John. I had you in the other world, didn't I? Gotcha. gotcha. Well, we're back with Call Me Found, and we're so happy to have him. We're almost uh, over, to, uh, just about another 10 or 15 minutes left in the yes, show. Sir. And uh, they're going to have one of their newest songs that they're going to play for us. But before that goes on, you guys did uh, Creation just recently. How was that? We did. It was a blast. We loved it. Um, it was super hot. <laughs> I believe super, it was. Super stinky. But, uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. Um, 
It was nice to just get to see all so many believers in one place. It was just really cool. And um, yeah, we had a lot of fun and we got to meet other people and other bands. And um, I camped out, which Did you? was, yeah, yeah. My friend Faith and I. Uh, had a tent and oh my goodness, it's sort of yeah. like a Woodstock type thing. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't do it. It I was like everybody it. else. I'm the only girl in the band, and I'm the one that camped out. And everybody else got hotels. <laughs> everyone. Okay, everybody got hotels. I camped out. Too buggy right. for me. You know, it was actually it was cool. It was really cool, except for um. Would you do it like again? Like four o'clock in the morning, somebody went for a hot air balloon ride and yelled, "Good morning, creation!" <laughs> At four like, o'clock in the no. morning. No, <laughs> it was like four, four thirty. I don't know. It was too early, and I was up at that point. So, you know, um, but it was it was fun. And then we, you know, stood up late. They had movies and they did um, the communion. It was just really cool. Would you yeah. camp out again? Yeah, I would. Okay. I would. Cool. It's, cool. It was fun. I would do. I'd bring my kids. Cool. Yeah, it was really fun. And Jeff, you didn't camp out. Well, I can't you know. deal with anything crawling on me, man. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I, I do enjoy camping, but my wife does mm -hmm. not want to camp under any circumstances. <laughs> so uh, bad. We okay. stayed at a good woman. nice place, you know, comfortable <laughs> bed, air conditioning, showers. Yes. I mean, my yeah. wife, I got to have a bed. It was for the I best. I got to have your wife would camp? My, my, my son's an Eagle Scout. Arsa, our I, son. I know he would, but I didn't think Marie would out no, there she did, she did a lot of camping with us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wow. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. She would camp out in a heartbeat. Absolutely. Well, I she did it when it. I was in high school, but that was different. We had cots and stuff like that that I brought, those army cot thingies, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So I wasn't on the ground, but I don't want nothing crawling on me. That's the problem. Yeah. <laughs> they crawl on you and they crawl off. Mm. No biggie. They're not going to eat much. Yeah. They'll, yeah. Leave, they'll leave some for you. Yeah, good. That's good. Good to know. <laughs> That's good. I'll, I'll take that. So aside from creation, tell us a little bit about Eastern Records, Jeff. Eastern Records is a label that I started with a buddy uh, many years ago. Uh, I owned a label called Eastern Music Group. Mm -hmm. um, we, you know, it was our own label for our own music. Um, and uh, when I started, I, I took a long break from music, about 10 years, didn't touch a guitar. And when I got back into it, I wanted to rehydrate uh, Eastern Music Group, but it was now taken again someone else had taken it and it was they were pretty prominent okay um so but you know i had a lot of the uh collateral i'll call it marketing stuff and logos and, and all that so I, I picked something similar eastern records um i started up a few years ago when i released my bishop riley album that hannah sang on um and then i re-released some of my old stuff a uh, band i was in called earth to bob uh, earth to bob 20 yeah. years ago, so I re-released that stuff. I released um, some of uh, Rob Riley's old material that he had done and that I recorded mm -hmm. on with him. Mm -hmm. And then we released our Bishop Riley, and now we released our uh, Call Me Found uh, awesome. stuff on there as well. So we're, we're building up a nice catalog on Eastern Records of uh, stuff that's all out there, all available. So with the youth of today who say, what's a record? What do you say to them? Because <laughs> <laughs> all they know are CDs, MP3s. Yeah, yeah. And I tell you why, you can't even hardly get a CD mm -hmm. nowadays anywhere. No, no, no everything's one, no one, da everything's downloaded. No yep. Unless you go to Walmart and buy one for five bucks or a dollar or two dollars or something yeah, like that. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're going the way of the buggy whip, you know. It's yeah. going to be not very long where you're not even going to be able to find a, a player anymore for them. So Exactly. I like the format. I think it's cool to have, you know, a physical thing there. You've got artwork. Yeah, you've got all the that's the fun thing about it. And all the cool stuff, you know? Yeah, absolutely. It's the fun, and putting it together is a lot of fun mm -hmm. as well. Oh yeah. So yeah. I mean, but once you put it together and they're saying, "Well, download it," well, it's not just not the same. It's not. it isn't. No. It really isn't. No. So what's coming up for Call Me Found? Anything new as far as um, touring goes and uh, recording, maybe? Well, yeah. So after creation, we kind of we took the summer off. Um, uh, the goal was to start writing and recording some new material. So we're going to play in a moment. We're going to play a new new song uh, that we've been working on. Um, titled? It's entitled Call Me Found, mm -hmm. oddly enough. How original. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. No, that's uh, good. That's good. So, but yeah, just uh, trying to write and record and starting to try and get some shows out there end of the year and start working on, on next year. And you guys are going to be with, with us in February as winners of the Battle of that's the Christian right. Bands. That'll yeah. be great. Can't wait. Can't wait for that. 
So right now we're going to listen to Call Me Found playing their new song, Call Me Found, here on HamiltonRadio.net. This is Sunday Worship and Talk with Art and John.
Hi, Call Me Family. You're one great song. Love it. You guys got to get their episode. It's like the title of a new album. Yeah, it sure does. Absolutely. That was a bit of an adventure. That's the first time we've ever yeah. done that anywhere, and yeah. it will no doubt change quite a bit by the time it's that. recorded. Um, so. Uh, as always, any new song, pretty much. Yeah. yeah. So speaking of recording and everything like that, uh, you can be call me found can be found on Facebook. That's right. Yeah. Just by looking up call me found at call me and found and Instagram too. And Instagram mm -hmm. at call me found and on Eastern Records, right? Yes, Eastern that's right. Records.com forward slash call me found. At, at, for some reason, it's case sensitive. So capital C in call, okay. capital M, capital F. Got it. And that'll get you there. Excellent. Perfect. Or you could just go to Eastern Records. Eastern-records.com and you'll find it there. Awesome. Perfect. All right. We're going to be closing out with a song from Call Me Found. But before we do, John, would you please pray us out? Sure. Uh, Father, we thank you once again that we could come before you and that you could also come into us and fellowship with us and your desire to have a relationship with us. And I just pray that if anyone doesn't have that relationship, that before they turn to another station or listen to another program, that they would open their heart and just ask your son to come in and to be their savior and be their lord because you said you came that we might have life and have it abundantly and they won't lack anything but have so much more than they have now just keep us in your care until we meet again obviously uh i just pray your blessing upon art and lance on the next program and i pray uh that you get everything prepared for our uh, next sold out program as well thank you father Thank you, brother. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for being here. Call me fam. We'll be back October 7th with Jessica Crawford and Lance Carpenter as my co host Join us here on HamiltonRadio.net, HR2. You can download it on your Hamilton Radio app. Just go to your iPhone or your Android program and just download Hamilton Radio 3.0. And you'll listen to us live here on HR2. Thank you all for tuning in. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Yes. Call me found. Close us out. We'll see you soon.
come into my house You are welcome here And if you're cold, I'll keep you warm Yeah, I will keep you warm And I can tell you're feeling desperate See you in a couple weeks.